Hi, I'm Timothy John, the Managing Editor of Road Cycling UK. In this instalment of our technique series, we'll be talking about standing climbing. Standing climbing is used on especially steep hills and lighter riders might find themselves standing before larger, more powerful riding buddies. Uh, lighter riders find it harder to generate power and they can do that by standing and climbing. Good standing climbing technique involves positioning your body weight behind the handlebars. Alberto Contador, the Spaniard who's won multiple Grand Tours, has a very recognisable climbing style where he stood almost completely upright behind the handlebars. That's really quite extreme, but that might be used as a template for your own standing climbing. Make any gear changes before you move to the standing climbing position. It's by standing and climbing you're placing maximum tension on the chain any gear changes before you move to the standing climbing position. When you're standing and climbing the chain is under maximum tension and therefore when you change gear in that position it can result in a very rough and unseemly change. The other issue to remember with standing climbing is when you move from the seated position to the standing position. That will probably occur naturally as the hill becomes steeper but try and pay some attention to that and try and make that transition as smooth as possible. Once you're in the standing position, allow the bike to move with you. Don't lock your arms and try and control the handlebars like a robot. Stay loose in the arms, allow the bike to move naturally. Your handlebars shouldn't be swinging wildly from side to side like you are in a sprint. You're unlikely to be pulling on them unless the climb is extremely steep. So allow the bars to move naturally, place your weight behind the handlebars, stand upright but not bolt upright, move smoothly from the saddle and you should have an effective standing climb.